It's all gone wrong at the Camp Nou. FC Barcelona have been knocked out of the Champions League. And in the midst of a crisis, who do you call Lionel Messi? The Catalan side were eliminated from the Champions League before their encounter with Bayern Munich. Inter Milan faced Victoria Pilsen in the earlier kickoff. Barcelona hoping that the Italian side would lose to preserve any hope of qualifying for the Champions League round of 16. But the Nerazzurri produced a polished display to sweep aside the Czech team 4-0. Understandably dejected, FC FC Barcelona also succumbed to a 3-0 defeat themselves to the Bavarian Giants. For the second successive season, the Spanish Giants will be dropping down into the Europa League. According to the Mirror, some fans started chanting the name in honour of their former skipper, Lionel Messi. His time at Barcelona coincided with an era of European dominance. La Polga only knew the Champions League knockout stages during his 17-year spell at Barca. But fans will have to temper their optimism as the likelihood of a return to his former club has diminished in recent weeks. Lobo Carrasco, a former Barcelona player turned pundit for El Chiringuito, lit social media alight when tweeting, Messi will bring happiness back. Some fans interpreted that as an imminent return, but he soon clarified that that wasn't the case. The former Barca star then suggested that he doesn't see Messi returning to Barcelona. But what do you guys think? Should Messi return to Barca upon the expiration of his current PSG contract? In any case, Bayern Munich manager Julian Nagelsmann congratulated the Catalan side on their efforts. Ja, habe ich ja schon mehrfach betont, dass Barca für ihn eine gute Entwicklung genommen hat, haben einen herausragenden guten Kader, haben äh, tolle Neuzugänge. Und werden sicherlich ähm, ja, auch in Zukunft ähm, ja, ein großer Herausforderer in der Champions League sein. Und jetzt auch sicherlich in der Euroleague äh, eine tolle Saison spielen, weil sie einfach einen herausragenden guten Kader haben und ähm, offensiv extrem viel Spaß machen. Auch wenn ihr es gerne hören würdet, aber ich bin nicht Barca Trainer und ich habe äh, genug zu tun mit meinem eigenen Job. Und fragen Sie bitte Xavi das zu Barcelona, auch wenn es euch interessiert. Ich habe viele Dinge im Kopf, aber nicht, wie ich die Barcelona Spiele beurteile. There was a similar disappointment over in Madrid, as Atletico have also been eliminated from the Champions League now. They were knocked out after a thrilling 2-2 draw with German side Bayern Leverkusen. They had their destiny in their own hands as Yannick Carrasco stepped up to take a last minute penalty but failed to convert it and thus sealed their fate. With just five points from five games, Antoine Griezmann and co are incapable now of catching up with Porto on nine points and the surprise package of Club Bruges on 10 points. The only consolation for them is that they could still qualify for the Europa League, but in order to do so, they will have to better Bayer Leverkusen's result in that final group game. As a result, there's only going to be one Spanish side in the knockout stages of the Champions League this year, and that is the holders, Real Madrid. Elsewhere in Europe, Ajax's Davy Klassen produced a moment of ingenuity as he attempted to tickle Virgil van Dijk at a corner. Yeah, that's one way to stop the Dutch giant. Ajax eventually succumbed to a 3-0 defeat to Liverpool. And speaking of red, Spurs' manager Antonio Conte was sent off last night after Tottenham's last gasp winner against Sporting Lisbon was ruled out by VAR for offside. A potentially complicated and controversial one, but what did you guys think? Was Harry Kane's goal offside? <laughs>